Hello everyone, you are greeted by a black screen of mystery, but never fear. This is Cyber Neuro Druid, and we are playing Shadows of Time, the 15th scenario in Invasion from the Unknown. The scenario has just started, this is part 2, because I just recorded a bunch of uh, voice acting, basically. The non-serious voice acting that you were promised in the description. We've got Erethan, he has only 39 hit points, so we're going to have to keep him safe. Um, on the plus side, he is loyal, and um, we can level up, hopefully, relatively straightforwardly. Gotta keep my orcish ally alive, gotta kill what's over here, and what's over here is largely scary elves who are undead. But we can't see it because because Malhecuba, the enemy, just cast a darkness spell on us. Now, I think the correct strategy here is to go basically to push full on to the west and just wipe out Tansafal and the undead there and let Malhecuba, um, let, let the orcish ally defend against Malhecuba while at the same time, well, um, while I wipe out Tansafal and then I can turn my attention to him. Now, um, first things first, I'm going to need to do some scouting. We've got an undead horseman down here for some reason. I can actually attack that with, uh, if I want to. Not sure how, how smart a play that is. What I want actually is for Igor to go straight forward, see if he can spot any enemies. And I can't, not just yet. There are lots of woodlands over here, that is handy because it means that elves are going to be useful on this map. And pushing north, maybe less so, but that's fine. One more. Right, we can't see anyone over here, that must mean that no one's come out yet. Um, Elinia is going to be handy over here because she's good against um, chaotic units. Malkishar is going to be handy over here because he's good against just about everything. Erethan, mm -hmm, not really sure what I'm going to do with you. Um, I could send you south to deal with this um, terrifying zombie horseman and get four experience, or I could just push you with the main line of units. And I think that's probably the play, so... Well, let's see. Oh, here we go. Erethan is an Aragwaith Strongbow. His skill with the bow is not as great as that of Elvish archers, but he aspires to either improve it or enhance his ability with melee weapons such as the glaive. Nonetheless, he is not used to fighting in open fields, so be careful when deciding where he should attack from. Only 40% on open fields? Well, that's the same as everyone, really. Um, but yeah, you know, he's going to be safer in a village, isn't he? Alright, so, we want to start with a big push, so I'll get some tough units out here. Um, first up, Scythe the Spectre. I think an Elvish Enchantress is going to be very handy in this situation. Um, melee units, on the whole, unless they do arcane damage, are not going to be so useful in this scenario. Um, Revelia is tempting, but I'm going to need healing above all, so... Sothinia the Shide, you come out here. Anyone else I can recall? Milongil the Lich seems like a good idea, and then some elves. Including the sprite that almost leveled up last time. I'm going to run into a gold deficit in this scenario, because there aren't that many houses around. Ah, when it was still light I should have checked to see if there were any houses I could grab down here. Oh well. Perhaps actually a bat. Um, yeah, I'm going to get a bat. And that bat will be able to reveal bits of the map for me so that I can see what's going on. And then I can get some more troops. Okay. My ally is recruiting his mighty level 1 orcs, but no enemies in sight just yet, apart from this one corpse in the forest. Okay, you go this way. Is my ally going to get pissed at me if I take his villages? He might do. I wouldn't blame him. I'd be pissed. Alright, now we can see everything. This zombie is not a threat, so go ahead north. 
All right, over here. All right, we can see some enemy troops now. We can see this. This is a forefather. Uh, let's look at the abilities on these guys. So, terror. Lower level units do lower do worse damage. So again, it's the right choice to go with high level units against these troops. Um, they're loyal. They're undead. They fight normally during daytime, which is pretty scary. And they've got a powerful arcane blade attack and a cold attack. They're basically not that different from spectres, but they have a slight. They have the Sylvan Spark ability, which makes them slightly better in vegetated terrains. Forest, great tree, and mushroom grove. Alright, so pushing forward is Alinea because I don't think these guys can really do much damage to her. As for Malkashar, he's just going to stay one step back, but to the north. Erethan, you follow up. I might have to pull back from this position, but that's fine if it happens. In the meantime, I'm going to just bring everyone up behind. Now these sprites are quite slow. Am I going to get more? I'm going to get a couple, just because, you know, it might, it might be useful to have some units that are fairly expendable on this side. And I've still got plenty of gold, so I can still go for some more units. He's good. Is it good to have another healer? I think another fast-moving healer is not a bad investment here. Or I could go for the. I could try and train up the druid again. But I think fast moving is the is the key word here. So our view. Someone who can slow like you should be handy. A dexterous resilient archer is also a very tempting prospect. They won't be immediately useful against these undead over here, but maybe I can get a sneaky kill and uh, and level her up. Now, is that all I want to recall? It might be. It might be worth having another spectre though. So, is it going to be Slashy or Blady? I'm going to go for Blady. For Slashy, because he can level up. And then, as for units to recruit, I could have some Dark uh, dark. Bleh. I could have some Dark Adepts. And they're quite cheap, and they do good arcane damage, so they should be able to do a decent wallop on these uh, undead troops. Okay, I'll do that. And my elvish troops, in the meantime, are incredibly expensive. Alright, everyone moved. You can't reach me. Good. Oh, we've got an undead wos over here. Interesting. Who do you belong to? Which player? Okay, there's a chaos player on the map. Interesting. Didn't see that before. Alright, the Orcish uh, allies doing a fairly inept job at taking out some zombies. Oh, and let's run up and uh, fight some zombie. Enjoying the defensive mojo here from Elenia. Okay, and the southern zombie is defeated. Now I really don't understand why this archer just ran out like that. It's just going to get itself killed. Okay, so... Of these forefather units, there's four of them here, appropriately. Four fathers, get it? Uh, and then there are some weaker ones back here. And it looks like Milongil can reach some of them, um, though uh, no one else can. Um, what I don't want no, is, is for Milongil to... Um, 
Okay, you do that. Not a kill, unfortunately. Oh dear, that was pretty poor. Can you remedy this? Ah, you so much disadvantage here in the forest, it's uh, you're actually pretty unlikely to get the kill. And you're even worse, oh dear. So what these guys don't... Oh, they do have drain. <laughs> I thought I was going to say they don't have drain, but um, nope, they just do. Um, they just totally do. But you might as well kill the tougher one. Okay, good. Now, are they going to gang up on Malkashar and kill him next turn? That seems like it's quite a likely option, so I need to do something about it. None of these folks can drain, so I feel like trying to get the level here with Scythe is not too bad an idea. I mean, they can drain, they can't drain each other, that's what I mean. One more hit! Yes! Okay, now we've got a Spectre over here who's got 39 hit points. That's actually pretty... pretty beastly. Can you kill this one? No, you would just give it health, unfortunately. So they're all going to go for Malkashar again, I think. That's going to be their game plan. They might go for a linear, but... She's just that bit better in defense. Now I could put Igor here, but in principle, this guy could do 30 damage, this guy could do 30 damage, and whoever this is, um, I think they're all fearless, yeah. So they could each do 30 damage, and that would be very, very nasty. And then this guy could come in and do another 12. So in principle, those they could, if they were lucky, actually kill they could actually kill Igor, and there might be more behind. Still, I think it might be worth it so as like, so as not to get Malkeshar surrounded, because he can take a lot of damage from these guys too, especially on this kind of terrain. Maybe if I just move him up one. Yeah, okay, try this. The zombie can't reach me. Everyone else, fly, fly! Fly. Um, now it might be that this guy gets distracted by the prospect of killing a sprite over here. Um, if so, you know what? Fine. That's actually okay with me. Alright, gonna run out of money this turn. Um, now these are mostly zombies. I'm gonna send Slashy up this way to uh, to t help the uh, orc player take care of the zombies and maybe grab this house while I'm at it. Uh, this guy is going to explore the map some more. Alright, so I don't, I don't need to worry about this guy personally. Um, these guys are too slow to reach the woods, so you just go up. And now we can see there's an undead bat, that's fine. I'm going to recruit a hunter, just because, and a shaman, even though they're really expensive. Because I think um, I might run out of opportunities to recruit elves soon, and... Uh, okay, um, now I should probably get some powerful defensive people. Um, Detail the Elvish Prowler. Bring in the last spectre. Just, you know, for fun. Um, some mobility might not be bad, so it might not be bad to have... Okay, I'm gonna have 
belly of the ranger and she's going to go north. And then I'm out of money for recalls, so I can recruit another Dark Adept. And then I'm fully out of money. Okay, so Gallus, then you go over here. You're not going to be so useful in this fight, but uh, alright, we'll see what happens. Okay, my orcish ally is not excelling himself right now. For some reason he wants to use his melee attacks against the, the zombie. I guess he can figure he figures he can do more damage than that, but as a long-term defensive strategy, it's pretty bad. And I mean, I guess he's an orc, he's arrogant. You Okay, so you level up. Ah, there's another zombie. You do not want to let the green player just create more zombies like that. Go on, Malkashar, yeah. Alright, Malkashar is getting battered. But it's fine. Oh. So when it becomes night time, those shadow units go invisible. And there's one powerful one here, but fortunately it's put itself in pole position to just be um, obliterated by the rest of my units. So what I now need to do is make sure Malkashar doesn't die and wipe out the rest of these units. I don't think that's too tall an order at this point. I've got a fire fairy here. I'm sure there was another way that these folks could evolve. I don't remember it though. Okay, you can do 25 damage, that's pretty nice. So I want you to come forward. No, that's a bit of a waste, um, but... Alright, Aerithan, can you get a kill? It's only level 1. Good, good. Um, 10 more of those and you'll be on your way to a level. Right, Shadow Wave and Chill Wave are both pretty feeble against these guys. Let's just check their resistance. Now they are weak to Arcane. So why is Shadow Wave so weak? Because uh, it's not very good anyway, I think that's the answer. Okay, so it's going to be the fire that does it. Alright, you're on 23 health. Well, you come in anyway and uh, do the shadow wave. Let's see if you can get the kill. Four hits. Ah, so close. Oh well. What about you? <laughs> well, the bowler only does four on damage. Okay, brilliant. Do I have any leadership around? Nope. Um, maybe I should just... Uh... <sighs> You're the most reliable one for this. Okay, need to watch out for this wolf rider coming up and trashing my units. I think, actually, Galas is the ideal person to deal with the situation. Oh, look at that. Sweet. Alright. Now over here we've got another... Another shadow person. Who I can take out with Malkashar. Being a little bit cavalier with Malkashar at the moment, but then again I do think that Malkashar is probably... that probably the enemy is got rid of all of its more, more expensive and tougher units. So I'm going to send Ilinia down here. Yep, this looks good. 
that's one less elven spirit. Um, and I must be approaching Tanstafal's base now. Can't see what's going on, but I absolutely must be. You can reach over there. Bane blade. <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot of skeletons. Okay. But none of them can reach me. Uh, it's the afternoon. Yep. Alright, that skeleton came off a little bit better than I thought it would. You go there. You go there. If you want, you can attack my lich. You... Yeah, just run in, do some damage. Okay, the thing, that thing is now nearly dead. Um, you can go up to slow anyone who comes from the north. Um, and some of you I was going to send north anyway, and now I'm not that worried about the green troops coming from the north. They don't seem like much of a threat. There's a, there is a zombie down there, must remember that. So I'll go forward. You get the house. Okay, I can see more zombies. Well, it's a sneaky move, but I think I don't feel like I'm in too much danger from it. Ah, uh, no, I can't get the hill. Can't even get the kill with one hit. Okay, well, let's hope that the um, that the orcs protect me. Otherwise, I might lose my blood bat. And if so, well, I don't know. Not so fast. That's not exactly my prize unit. You were going to go north. Um, I think... Um, have I got enough to, to push? You, can, you go north as well. And you... And then you just head straight out. Um, nah, you're not going to be helpful on that flank, so... You, on the other hand, you might be, so you go over here. Quite a lot of enemies, I mean, but they, I mean, they all look pretty weak. are not having all the luck here. Yeah, the random number generator is not on the side of these orcs. But now I think at least they won't go for my bat, because they'll go for some of the weakened orcs instead. Yeah, there we go. And that'll be a zombie. And that'll be 15 damage. Oh yeah, so purple is the enemy orcs. I guess black must be Malhecuba, who's coming from the north. <laughs> Alright. It's coming up to night time and there are an awful lot of undead over here. Um, that's not a proper mushroom forest. <laughs> Things you find yourself saying in this game. Um, so, purple enemies coming south. We'll have to hold them off. I think probably best I use a few units to hold them off over here. Like, for instance, I mean, Gullus in a house seems like a pretty good bet. Only he'll have to hold against. 
a few purple units. It's not too terrifying. Um, and up here, there can be a gradual advance. Maybe you also head up here. You'll be invisible if you're there. You want to run back to somewhere where you can get health. You were sighted. Oh, okay, there's more zombies up here. A lot of weak units. Okay, I thought I was fighting strong units, but turns out I'm fighting weak units. That's fine. These, these green units, they're not scary in themselves, but if they mass my spectres, then they could just get lots of damage and the spectres can't drain. So, do need to have a strategy for this. Great. Okay, you could go forward and get the kill. I think, I feel like I should keep pushing here while time is on my side. I'm going to move you down to the south. Have Malkeshar, maybe. Or you, you're the only one who can stand there. No one's fast enough, and I don't want you to be exposed out here. Ah oh dear, this is this is frustrating. Okay, I could fly you out there, but then you'll get killed by undead in the forest. You're fast enough. Okay, here's the plan. You just need to get one kill. So you deal with this... Yeah. Two hits. We can see tons to file now. Good, and you get an after maximum level advancement, which means you can have a strength upgrade, a shielding upgrade, which gives you arcane resistance, thorns attack. You know, I think actually the strength upgrade is going to be useful right now for preventing Alinea from getting killed by undead, plus an extra melee strike, which is impact. So I'm going to go for that. Alright, good. I've got a spectre who can come in here. I've got a shide, and if these two fight side by side, there's not actually that many undead that can reach me. So slowing attack on you, and everyone else just push up behind. Um, how far can you all reach? You two can't reach anything, and you can, if you sit there, yeah, these guys can do so little damage to you, I think you're going to be fine. Perfect. Now, although you're sat in some mushrooms and not well defended, it's not going to be an issue. Over here, I could finish you off and save myself some damage, and I don't think there's much disadvantage in doing that, because... That means that the zombie will reach me, but they don't do much damage anyway. It means that you will reach me, but meh, and it, yeah, okay. One hit. You got it in the end. You didn't really need to take that much damage, mate. Okay, Scythe. Um, I hope you don't die. Well, you're only going to get attacked by an archer, a zombie, and a skeleton, so hopefully you won't. Malkeshar, meanwhile, keep pushing forward. Um, you folks keep pushing forward. You... It's already the case that no one can get into this forest next to, next to Galas, that's great. So I just want you to come up behind. And then... Level 2, Fire Fairy, they look very much the same. What's the difference? Um, there's, visually they're almost identical. They've got slightly bigger wings, the Fire Fairies. So I'll just bring you up behind as well. And I think that means no one can get in to attack you, but then next turn you should be able to do your thing. Um, Erethan, you're more useful against these guys than you are against Undead, so you come up here too. 
So now we've got two spectres over here. Was that the plan? Well, there's a lot of zombies over here that I can't reach. You go that way, help finish off the zombies. Okay, um... Now, if I were you, I would be offended by this zombie bat who's over here, so... You just try and kill that. And fail dramatically. Okay, so then... So then you do the same thing and just take it out. Not without difficulty, but you did it. Okay. Three zombies left here, and I'm sure the orcs can mop those up. Or at least, it would be nice if the orcs could mop those up. I'm a little bit worried here. I'm going to just draw back a little bit on this flank. Okay, I've got a few more troops over here. I want you to head for this flank. You can keep coming over here. I don't really know what to do with you. You can just go down here and then you're well placed to serve both flanks. A couple of turns should be able to get rid of Tunstafal, I hope. Alright, one of three zombies dead. Oh, come on! Minus one of three zombies dead. Okay, one of three zombies dead, again. Yeah, not you two. Good. Alright, the zombie situation has been cleared up. No more zombie apocalypse on the orcish flank. But there are more zombies coming. There's one. Good for you. Slow, yes. Don't you die. I just spent a lot of money on you. Far more money than you're worth. Purple is... I mean, purple's got a lot of units there. They're all weak, but they're units. How could I not notice this before? The elves brought their precious Lady of Light with them. Hmm, surely the Emperor would be pleased if I brought her to him after the Warlord's mission ended in such a lamentable disaster. Hmm. Say, Lady of Light, Ilinia is your name, right? Do you feel lonely without your dear partner, the fabled Master of Darkness? How I feel is none of your business. Alright, it's night time. Um, the undeads are looking pretty much... They're not quite out for the count, but they're close. Good, that archer has been dealt with. Over here we've got a zombie. Can you take it out? You could, if you were lucky. Um, that's, it's mostly just a matter of figuring out who gets which kill at this point. So I'm going to bring you back here. I should have really given that to the more experienced one. Maybe this skeleton archer, if I get three hits. Yep, looks good. Okay, 
So I need to take out this zombie down here. Um, that's not my first priority though. Um, who, who can range me? This 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 tree, this undead undead tree over here, undead woes, is not not really a threat. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I need to be careful with Scythe the Spectre. You could run right in. You could run right in and take out this guy. I want Malkashar to stay back a bit because he's he's looking a bit um, worse for wear. But you could, yeah. I mean, I say stay back. I don't mean don't kill someone. You know that would be a, a terribly un malkashar move. Mm, all right. So you over here. Ooh, that was pretty feeble. Hmm. Now that means Alinea can't. I was kind of hoping Alinea could get in and attack Anstafal this turn, but that's still unlikely to be the case unless I. All right, you do that. Okay, some pretty poor RNG work today. So you're going to have to do this after all. And then maybe you can just slow this guy to death. And what's over there? A zombie. Whoa, big whoop. Uh, no kill. Am I worried about this zombie? This zombie could come and attack my sprite, but it's the only thing that can, so... Not a, sh not a huge level of concern. Alright, so now, can you... Yes, you can. Alright, not a not a one turn KO, and I could get some um, Alinea could take a, a fair amount of damage this round, but it won't be, I think, enough to kill her unless Tanstafal decides to attack and is very lucky. Um, there might just be some leadership strikes from these guys. She's got 60% defense after all. Okay, so my more pressing concern now is all of these weak troops who are coming up on the north. First of all, you. You'll probably die, but you can go here and do no damage. Galas, you stay where you are, just attack this guy. Oh, you don't even have enough health to heal him up to full, that's a shame. Okay, slowing attack from you. And Erethan hopefully can get the kill. No, not quite. Not far off, though. And it's not worth anyone else. I mean, hmm, is it... Anyone who runs out here will be killed by a bunch of random orcs and saurians. So it doesn't seem smart. I'm going to move... If I move you up one, you'll get attacked by the, by the tree. So not yet. Maybe next turn. See what happens over here. Don't want you to be attacked by the tree. I rather suspect that this guy will go for the Dark Adept now, because it's a, a, you know, easy kills. Ah, oh, good kill, good kill. No slow, unfortunate. And you are not likely to get the kill either, so... Oh, you might now. You might if you get three hits. Nope, but at least this person is not going to deal too much damage. I feel like both my Dark Adepts are now going to die, though. More zombies up north. Mm, 
you come in here and get ready. How far can you reach? You okay? I don't want you zapping. Oh, that's only cold damage. And how resistant to you are? You're resistant, extremely resistant to cold, right? Yeah, seventy percent resistant. Okay, so then actually, I'm not too frightened by any of these units over here. Um, and I might try and save my Dark Adept by plonking this Spectre over here. I will get potentially four creatures attacking me, but I can drain at least one of them. Hmm. It's unclear whether this is a good idea. I'm going to do it. Alright, yeah, you can't reach me. And you... You keep scouting. Oh no, there's a there's a okay. Well, I'll leave the um, I'll leave the orcs. They, they need something to do, so they might as well take this guy out. All right, more troops coming down from the north. Should not be a surprise. There we go. Okay. Ever since that fateful day, you have asked yourself time and time again why it had to happen. You are haunted by lingering doubt that you didn't do enough. You could have saved him, really, and that festers, because deep down you still don't know how to move forward without him. Elinia, let me tell you this. Uriah knows many things about the past, present, and future. Elinia. Focus on the battle at hand, and pay no attention to this wretched scum. You and the other heathens don't believe Uriah is real. I can assure you otherwise. She is as real as she is beautiful, Aminia. And she can answer all your questions, especially those pertaining to Argus' fate in the depths of Erdia. You have only to come see our master, and he will take you to her palace in Inferno. Elinia, I said, don't listen to our enemy. Huh? Yes, yes. I am sorry, Gallus. I really shouldn't heed his words. Oh, Elinia, we all know your curiosity is insatiable, and our master is patient. Alright, Skeleton Horseman is out of the picture. We see that melee damage come in. Can't touch this. They really like killing Dark Adepts, but I mean, all three of you know, two of those units really damage themselves quite badly in the process, so um, not really worth it. Good thing the AI doesn't think long term. Goblin Spearman here. I, I mean, you're coming to a, to help with the defense, I guess. Not that I need it. I mean, you're weak as well. All right, so Elinia, if you step into the mushrooms, you'll get some regen next turn, and you can uh, probably get the kill all on your own. Two hits. Rest in peace, Tanstafal. Even if you betrayed our kinsmen, to roam the world in undeath is not a fate I would wish for anyone. Their devotion to an imposter goddess has allowed them to persist in this world for centuries. It's quite perturbing to see. Alright, good stuff. Um, 
So if someone else fast can come down here, like you, or maybe also, no. Yeah, you. If you don't get the kill, then you'll, you can get it next turn. Okay, no kill. Nothing interesting in this corner, I suspect. And everyone else can head north. Except someone ought to go... You, go and get that village. Don't want you to get any further beaten up. Malkashar, you stay where you are. You move down here. And then you also step back for now. And get some of those hit points back from our shied friend. You can step straight forward, because you're not very fast. You're going to need to, to get going if you want to head north. You can head over here and grab this house. And then I think we are good over here. Did I mention how much I like this campaign? This is a really good campaign. Alright, so now it's about... Defending in the north. No one's reached over here, so it seems like the bat can just go up into this corner and nab a few houses, and no one will be any the wiser. Now there is an enemy there, okay. There's a skeleton there. I think that's probably Malhecuba's base, so I don't want to run in there completely willy-nilly. Okay, Spectre can't reach anything this turn. Over here people can. You're badly damaged. Oh, hardly even worth saving, arguably, at this point. But I think... Yeah. Gallus, you do your thing. It's not quite a kill, um, but you should be able to finish that off. And an Erethan, you can kill this Orcish Grunt. I say you can kill this Orcish Grunt, you actually can, but only just. <laughs> Um, there's mud crawlers you're not fast enough to reach. Um, there's this guy who's already got quite a lot of experience. There is a... <coughs> you, you keep forgetting your level two. You're actually pretty good. Who have we got up here who can reach this woodland? Quite a lot of people, and some of them can even reach the house. That's frustrating. Hopefully, the uh, the orcs can get there in time, prevent that. Okay, you can get, you can reach this um, this zombie. That's nice. Well, it's not that nice. It just means you get turned into a zombie as well. But I feel like I should actually pull back a bit from here and not try and fight it as is. Right, don't want any walking corpses levelling, so you're going to stay where you are. Do damage, and now you only need a little bit more than one kill to finish it off. This shaman, I think, might end up being a sacrificial lamb. 
and you go get that house so that the so that the horseman doesn't. Well, this is just too tempting to ignore. Three hits. Three hits for the kill. Almost, almost. Okay. Well, you know, you're going to die next turn anyway. Alright, I think that's everyone. Oh no, it's not you. You haven't moved. Um, Alright, well, I'm not going to fight the battle on this northern front yet. I'm just going to try and hold over here. So that means that you should head south. These orcs, they've got, they know where they're going. Um, and they will get minced, but that at least means the blue player will have money to do more interesting things. Um, how far can you all move? So I need to get behind this tree line. And then only, only this, only these two could potentially fight me. And that's if the orcs don't get in there first. All right. Power move. I'd love to see a, I'd love to see a blue goblin level up. I don't think it'll happen, but it would be a beautiful thing. Okay, so this ally is actually doing what allies do do best: at distracting the enemy and um, slowing their progress. Everyone in the south can head north and take out the uh, orcish leader. Sadly, these orcs are getting pretty mopped up on the northern flank, which means I am going to have to intervene over there in order to stop my orcish ally from dying. Okay, you should be able to get the kill now. Everyone else, head north. Start to mop up. Not worried about the walking corpse. But I am going to send... Yeah, I thought there might be more units out there than meet the eye. No one can reach this bat. I kind of feel sorry for that guy, sort of patiently waiting. Okay, it's daytime, so everyone else run out and go on the offensive. Um, I don't like the fact that there are a few black troops coming down from the north here. And I don't like the fact that you're so badly wounded. But I think I can sneak around this flank. At least most of you can get to the woods. Slashy, can you take out this guy for me? It looks like you should almost be able to. I don't think you'll quite get it on your own. like not to put Erethan in danger. He's only got 39 hit points. He's pretty weak and these units, at least, yeah, this skeleton's not going to do anything, but this zombie, this bat, yeah. Uh. 
Good work, Detea. You're too slow. Maybe actually Galas should just come out into the open. Um, he's he can he can take the damage after all. It's mostly Erethan who can't. We're going to move these units up because they're not under threat anymore. Might as well leave you where you are. You're no threat to anyone, and I don't need the experience. Yeah, no, it doesn't make any sense. I just don't want you to be in the open. Will you die if you go out there? I mean, it's only the daytime, I don't really know what I'm worrying about here. Anyone else? No, no one else can reach. Okay, so then yeah, Gallus, you go in over here and attack this one. Most people in melee can kill a mud crawler if they're decent enough. And now Erethan is more or less... Yeah, I'll just move him around the back. Can he actually... can these guys reach the house? Yeah, it doesn't look like that you can go into the house though, I think that would be a step too far. So yeah, that's good. Oh yeah, no you can you can't. Um question up here is whether to push forward or whether rather to actually give some ground. Um Advantage of taking the fight now is that it's the daytime, and I'm better in the daytime. Uh, disadvantage obviously being there's a lot of units here, and I probably will lose some if I do that. And I don't really have all that many units to spare. Don't know what this... I mean, this, this goblin really is out of his depth. What would be really nice is if none of you guys could reach this house, then I could uh, safely put my Dark Adept there without any concern, but that is not the case. So this Dark Adept is going to have to run back over here um, to heal up, and I think that's worth it. Then the rest of you can, if you want, come down and... Uh, I don't really want you to attack my, my Elvish Hunter though. I'm gonna put the put the ranger there. Well, you can come all the way over here. I'm gonna bring you around here to join up. Or am I? No, that's a waste of your talents. I'm gonna bring you here just in case. So basically, I'm falling back on this side, um, ready to maybe push back in a couple of turns' time when it becomes clearer how this is all gonna play out. And you, I'm not going to forget about you. Oh, there's there's Mel Hecuba. He's a Chaos Cardinal. He's a nice level four unit. Check him out. He's got a um, Necrosis attack, which is basically poison but better. Um, he's got 89 hit points. Um, he's got nasty cold and, and range attack. In earlier editions of this campaign, he used to be a regular 
He used to be like Malkesh Shah, he used to be just an ancient lich, but they've clearly um, buffed him since then, and now he is not to be screwed with, not even slightly. Okay, I'm going to try and get this bat back into safe ground now that I've seen where he is. I didn't need to be as, as defensive as that, never mind. Well, what are you going to do? Come over here. Alright, good. Kill! Yeah, you're brave. You'll die. But... And I don't know what you're doing going into the absolute middle of open ground. Oh, like I say, AI, AI long-term, not really that smart. Okay, they're going to go for the approach, I think. But we'll see. Love it if this guy got a level 2 kill and went up a level. Now there aren't any level 2 units to be killed though, that's the problem. But still this guy's defending himself remarkably well. Go Pogtish! Or Pogchamp. Ah, get off my house! Dirty skeleton. Okay, push in with the units I've got over here. You can reach, but you can only reach one guy. That's fine. You now can't reach anyone. You can only reach these two. Captain. You only need you only need a very small amount of experience to go up a level. You could almost do it by killing this guy. First of all, let's get um, let's get a kill for Arathan, even if it's only a level zero one. All right, there you go. And. For now, you just step back one and allow Miss Mystic Fire herself to come in here and get a skelly kill. Okay, I need some now. I need some elves over here. Um, I'm going to have to rapidly redeploy some of my elven units so they can come and hold in forests. I think you should come over here. A spectre. I mean, they can help out over here too. Spectres are basically elves. They're fast. They're hard to hit. Yeah. What else can you say? You. And you. Maybe actually Galas should go. I think Galas probably should go because he can. Uh, there's some units here that he can drain. And uh, I mean, if I've got Malkeshar up here, I don't really need to worry about consequences. Consequences are for losers. Malkeshar and one Spectre should be enough to take out anything up this side of the map. 
And I think we're getting nearer to the purple base. You run... Ah, oh, that, that, that'll be the purple base then, won't it? And of course, Igor. Yeah, so we can see Cousin No Good turns Alphargat with his crossbow. Yeah, you are not going to last more than another couple of turns, mate. You can get in and attack Igor, sure. Elinia is going to be too slow for that fight, so she should probably come around to this one. And so it looks like the quickest way is by running up here. That's fine. Yeah, so Galas, go over here. And I can use the rest of the daytime. if I get lucky. Yeah! Alright, now any level 1 unit who attacks this guy, uh, or this girl, she's going to level up. You come and heal the spectre next turn. You come and block anyone from attacking up here. Uh, you can get my house now, that's a shame. Oh, can you? No, you can't. You need to go home. You need to run home to your mama. But you can come over here and join in the uh, join in the fun, or are you rather going to go up and help out in defeating the leader? It's a slurbo, so I don't want it getting too many return attacks. Um, yeah, I think with elves that flank's going to be fine. Bat, what's the bat doing? Still trying to escape. safe there, and can come in to guard Quogarathum, who's looking increasingly void of any support. But I'm hoping that this attacking army is going to be basically distracted by my units in the forest here, and I'm going to be able to hold there while I push round to the north. Even if I kill these guys, I mean, if I kill these guys, then I can push to the north myself. <laughs> Bold again, trickling units. Oh, I'll get the kill. Oh, you can't. Oh, no. All right, we've got an Avenger. My gold balance is, is not, not what I would wish. Not at all what I would wish. Anyone going to come and attack my elves? Anyone? No? Really? Well, it's only, it's only midday. We've still got daylight ahead of us. Yeah, I'm going to need to do something, because otherwise Quogarathum is going to get uh, mobbed by level 1 units. Very nice. Galas, are you just going to go, go full Conan the Barbarian here and, and run out? No, I need you over here. I need you defending. You two are going to go on the aggressive. You in particular. And you come in, swoop in. Yeah, you go, Blady. All right. Still two units who can get Krogar Ratham next turn. 
And I don't want to move my bat up because uh, the bat will be public enemy number one if I do that. So instead, I'm just going to somewhat cheekily steal one of my allies' villages. You, you're staying? Yep. Yeah. And down here, what I need to do is deal with this dude. And probably the best way of doing that is if I come around here with you and slow, and then get melee attacks. Three hits. All right, no kill, but um, close enough. Now oh, Gallus could finish the job. I think instead, Gallus is going to go and uh, stand like a bro in front of this shide and protect her, protect the woodland. Quality performance there from my newest recruit, Erethan. But Malka Shah, you just you just fell up there, and uh, yeah, good. You can't. None of you can attack Erethan now. You sneak around the flank. And you can get one of those villages next turn, or you can come in and attack the boss man, depending on how Malkashar does. Tempting. Just random zombies on this map. I guess that's the plot spell that Malhecuba casts. Now I like Malhecuba because the cool thing about him is, or her, I'm actually not sure on the gender of, of Malhecuba, so I'll use they them pronouns. They're really someone who they're an adversary in Under the Burning Suns. They flee, they don't die. Um, I think you can defeat them, but even then they don't canonically die. And now they're back. They're still in the service of Yechnagoth. Well, indirectly, they're in the service of the Chaos Empire and the forces behind them. And they're not only kind of witty, it's really very much an anti Malkeshar. We need a, a really badass enemy unit who's just gonna, you know, who's just gonna be snarky and funny and just generally great. Things are looking good. Um, Quoga! Quoga, what are you doing? Haha. Well, that's a full-on self-suicide from the Orcish leader. I'd love to see it. Okay, and now this... what did look like quite a terrifying attack in the centre is now really not looking all that scary at all. Looking like something I can mop up with my with my remaining southern troops. 
Um, do need to get you to a healer though. How's how is it best to handle this? I think the bat can try and get this kill. There we go, poison saurian for dinner. Um, you. So I think the spectre should really be able to finish the job over here. All right, now if um, if Quagaratam's friend, the, uh, the the goblin rouser, can't defeat this skeleton archer with leadership, then maybe Quagaratam himself can, and there is no other threat on this flank anymore. Could feed this guy the kill. Let's finish dealing with the orcs first and then decide what to do down there. Alright, so you're no use. First obvious step is just to get Malkashar in place and take a ton of damage but also deal a ton of damage. I've got enough units here that I can mop up. Not too bad. All right. Erethan, do you want to get the kill? Yeah. All right. Hey, Quoga, we just defeated your cousin. And that's a big chunk of experience for Erethan. You come out here and try and defeat this goblin. Almost. You're almost there. got the kill. Well, never mind. Still got enough units to kill everything. Or I could leave one to this Goblin Spearman. I mean, it seems like he's come all this way for nothing. Yeah, why not? You attack. You get You get this Wolf Rider. Why don't I be, I, I'm quite amused if you level up. I can start to get my finances in order so that I can push across here and deal with Mal, uh, not Malkashar, Mal, other guy. And you grab a house as well. Yeah, okay, a few isolated zombies, nothing too challenging. Even over here, I can actually press forward. Should I get the kill with you? You'll get a level if you do. Um, that affects my income negatively though. I don't feel like I ought to save that for later. I mean, my in income is already screwed at this point in the level. Still. Right. 
All right, everyone, advance. Even you. <laughs> yeah, that guy. Don't want need to worry about him. Oh, these these random zombies lying around really aren't worth the trouble of going and killing them. Go on, blue. Be a man. Oh, come on. You could have got that. Yes. Oh, love to see it. Don't love to see that. Galas finishes off that guy. Suddenly, it's looking pretty grim for Malhecuba, who must have run out of money at this point. Two hits. Come on. Nope. Okay. I'm not going to take the chance that you'll shoot down my bat. I'm going to kill you with the spectre. Um, or should I? Yeah, you... Well, you can only do three... Seven times three damage. I don't think you can actually kill the bat. Yeah, no, you can't. Not quite. So I'm going to go and grab the village. Maybe even my friend Quogar will come out and help me. Okay, got income to sort out. Got zombies to sort out. Good job. So many pointless zombies in the top corner of the map. I don't even need to go there. I mean, I, unless there's some kind of special magical item up there. Eh, maybe there is. Wouldn't put it past the scenario designers. I say scenario designers, I really mean one. Iris Morel, to whom many, many thanks. This is a wonderful playing experience. And I hope you don't mind me brutalizing your campaign with my ridiculous nonsense. It's it's done out of love. Got there in the end. Alright, heal the Lich or heal Galas. One or the other. Heal Galas. I mean, the, both of them can heal themselves, so... Eh. Okay, and if you survive that, which you should, I promise I will take you on a tour of all of the beautiful spots, by which I mean my allies' villages. Thanks, Quogar. Thwogar. And you don't seem to mind me stealing. Oh, you're pretty good defense here. On sand. Oh well. Okay. 
Okay, we can see the top of the map. Okay, here there are more enemies, so we have to be a bit cautious. But my financial balance is now zero, and that is a very pleasing sight. And my main assault forces have now arrived together. Okay, there's one village over here. That's good to know. Good work. You just grab a bit more health. And I have to say, if I were Malhecuba now and I could see these enemies, which he can't, I would be absolutely shitting it. village captured. I'm, I'm still quite surprised that especially an alliance as fragile as this the guy doesn't actually get a bit cheesed off with you about it. Okay uh, I should get attacked by that soulless again I should survive that attack and I've got income now and I should at this rate be able to finish this scenario plenty early. But I don't. Um, I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> I'm a little bit scared of the boss man here. Um, I'm going to need to be careful. It'll be another three or four turns before I get into position to attack him properly. You go around the top and see if there's a top way around. Well, there's a zombie. Uh, I'm going to keep everyone well out of Malhecuba's way until I'm ready to strike. Well, that's not going to stop me getting some healing. Can you reach... yeah, you can. Okay. I'm not going to put anyone in that house either. It's a trap! But Gallas, I want you to come right forward. Oh, my Spectre friend, you should come right forward as well. Can't be reached if you're there. Uh, 
All right, go, go, go. It's go time. And even my friend, the Dark Adept, is going to almost be in on this fight. The only person who isn't is the Bat, and that's fine. Okay, everyone everyone actually almost fits on one screen. Everyone apart from the Bat fits on one screen. That's always nice. Oh yeah, and um, this Spectre, Scythe over here. The legend that is Scythe the Spectre. This is a legend too, Pronk the Spearman. No one should doubt it. Okay, well now I've got enough units nearby that if Mal Hecuba does come out, he might kill someone, but getting him out of his castle and out of position is not such a bad thing. Oh, that was pretty crummy as a performance. What I really don't want him to do is to kill my spectres, because I need my spectres and I, and I love my spectres. What I don't mind so much is if you kill my hunters. But I'd rather you I'd rather if you do that, if you that you at least um get an enemy properly out of position. Is there a leadership unit around? Uh no, I don't think there is. Well oh, there is There's a linear. Get some good hits in, guys. Three hits now needed here. Oh. You can't reach. You can reach. Yep. Good stuff. Okay, so now Malhecuba could come out and attack my Elvish Hunter. Might even get slowed, but I think this Hunter otherwise will probably die. And actually that's a shame, because such high level, but... Ah, c'est la vie. How can I best... So now this guy's less likely to die. On the minus side, uh, Malhecuba can reach quite a range of my units, including Gallas, who is poisoned. I don't think that he will do... He'll, he has to hit with all five attacks in order for that to work, and I'm just betting that he's not going to. And I'll move over here with Milongil. And again, you have to get quite a number of hits in order to take out Milongil in one hit, in one go, so... You know, let's just hope that doesn't happen. And put some units in place so that we can get some healing in. Zombies, man. They're tough. Yeah, not so tough now. Good work, Sothenia. You also are actually heading for a second after maximum level advancement, and that would be great because you're my primary healer and have been all campaign. 
and everyone else just power forward. Including Arathon, for what it's worth. And Pronk the Goblin Spearman. Pronk! What a legend. Alright, now let's see what Mel Hecuba chooses to do, faced with this force. What's my back going to do? You can come up and join the fun. Come and join the fun! You won't get there. But you're quick. Let's go and explore this side of the map. There's a zombie there. That's not exciting. You can come here. Okay. Okay, so Malhakuba does not, in fact, come out of his base. Interesting. to get a level. Or maybe even... No, oh, you can't reach anything useful. You probably won't be able to either. Nice double bolus hit. Okay, so who can get in? Galas can get in, that's handy. Yeah, Milongil definitely can't. You won't be able to. Alright. Clean up time, really. Gotta try and not leave anyone in a position where they're likely to take too much damage. If I fail in my objective, which is to take out Malkishar immediately, uh, Mal Malhakuba immediately. Now neither Alinea nor Malkishar can actually reach, and that does not bode well. Galas can, but Galas is not really the um, big old damage dealing type. Milongil the Lich um 13 times 5 um 65 okay um won't die all right I'm gonna I'm gonna just go in for it what happens happens que sera, sera. Uh, that was pants Okay, <laughs> Milongil is now on five hit points. This poor fairy can also try and do some damage. And will almost certainly get eliminated extremely quickly. Um, these units are not that useful in the campaign, so I'm not too fussed about losing one now just to deal damage. Well, she got the damage done. I mean, that's um, nearly half this guy's health. I'm, I'm impressed. Now it's Galas or the slowing unit, and then the Spectre. This is a, an arcane attack, which makes it quite powerful. It drains, but it's not going to drain. It's not going to drain the life out of my my good Spectres. 
It is truly a pity that I must report back to our master. But worry not, Alinea, for I will be back eventually. <laughs> I cannot hold against this darkness. Damn that wretched necromancer. He used the darkness to escape. Elinia, are you all right? I think so. I I feel a little lightheaded, that's all. So, how many more upstarts like this should I expect now that those dark cultists have infiltrated our lands? I suppose there is some value in uniting our forces under a single banner after all. So, you will accept the Grand Council's proposal then? Of course. As long as you people honour the pact, so shall we. Ha! You are all such disgusting creatures. You and everyone else who allies with these orcs. Galas, about that suicidal infiltration mission of yours. Yes? I have decided to go with you after all. I don't necessarily agree that your plan is a good idea, but... There is something deeply troubling about this Chaos Empire. Even though Malkishar is a truly powerful lich, and I'm sure there are many capable warriors amongst our people's ranks, I feel there is something more to the followers of Uriah than I first thought. Something ominous. Alinea, if the Chaos Emperor is after you like the lich's words implied, I think it would be preferable if you stayed here in the North's safety. I mean, compared to the lands of Chaos. I thought you wanted me by your side anyway, Gallus if only to provide you with useful counsel now that Anlinde is gone. Besides, what is there to stop me from following your trail after your departure? I do need your help. I really do. Well then. And I hope you can forgive me for not consulting you about our mission before. Oh, don't worry. I have a whole eternity ahead of me to decide. I... that's not very reassuring, but I am taking that as a yes. Just remember to trust me as you would a friend, Gallus. I promise to do my very best to help you, no matter what situation you get us into. No, I will not forgive you, Gallus. I hope your death will be as painful as it will be ironic. And there we are. Now, if we look at the statistics for that mission, two losses, a Dark Adept and a Sprite. I mean, yeah. Um, and that Sprite was right at the end as well. Um, did me proud, taking 24 hit points off the bad guy. Um, yeah, I mean, I played that just about as well as it could be played. The only thing that I probably did do that I didn't need to do was to over-recruit. So there were lots of units there that didn't pull their weight, and financially... That wasn't the best mission ever. I won't have the best bonus gold going into the next mission. But finishing it in 16 turns out of 40, you know, there's swings and roundabouts to all of this. And if I didn't have as many units, I wouldn't be as confident in pushing forward. So there we go. Once again, thanks for watching. And um, yeah, scenario 16 beckons. <laughs>